The last two layers you're going to use are the labor force participation rate layer, which again is an ESRI layer. Use the 2012. Okay? You're going to use it exactly the same way that you use the median household income and the um, population density layers. You're going to turn it on. You're going to find your neighborhood and click on your house or the neighborhood for where your house is and you're going to get this information from a pie chart. There's a pie chart on that information box that will tell you um, which occupation fill the majority of the people in your neighborhood belong to. Keep in mind that's going to be the largest piece of the pie. And then this one is the least number of people belong to, what occupation fill the least number of people belong to and that's going to be the smallest piece of the pie. Your last layer is going to be the county SF parcels layer. If you can see that county SF parcels layer. So that in the quotation marks is what you are looking for. So you should be able to go up to your layers turn it to search for layers right now I have the median household income I'm going to change it to the county underscore SF underscore parcels and this is the layer that you want okay so I'm going to turn it on now this one has so much data on it that it usually takes it a while to load Now I'm going to go over here to details and I'm going to turn off the median household income so that I have just the county parcels turned on. Now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to click on a house and it's going to ask you several questions. Some of the questions are going to be is this or does this website have the right address for your house so if this is your house then you're going to zoom in let me zoom my camera in so you can see this so you're going to look at the site's full address and see if this address is the same or is the correct address for where you live if it's not maybe you have the wrong house maybe not when you scroll through this and there's more questions on that website or on, on your assignment right here it says own full ad this means the owner's full address so this address is in case the property is not owned by the person who lives at that house so this is the house this is the owner's address so because this owner lives in Orem that tells us that the owner does not live in this home. Please note, it does say H5 Ventures. So this house is owned by a company. Chances are they just rent the house out to somebody. As we scroll through here, you're given a lot more information about the property. It's a uh, residential house. That's how it is taxed. We're going to keep scrolling down here. Now you have several questions. One asks, what is the land market value for that home? That is this one right here. MKT for market land value. There is an improved market value for your home. That's this number right here. It's going to ask you, what is the taxable county value? That's the taxable county value right there. That's the number that we're looking for for that answer. 
It also asks you about the size of your lot in square feet. That's this one right here, okay? Area in square feet, 11,742. That's roughly uh, a third of an acre, okay? So those are the answers you're wanting to get for the county parcels layer.